Good afternoon. Today, as you saw from the thumbnail, we have a mail time. A Mr. Chris Williams sent me a package. Now I know one, possibly two of the things that are in here, but he said there's some surprises. So, we are going to see what those surprises are. First off, Need old trusty. The note reads, Jeff, here's the package as promised. Sorry it was delayed. Don't apologize, you did me a favor, man. You didn't have to do this at all. The SpaghettiOs are for your dinner for the next two Tuesdays. He even dated them. <laughs> he dated the SpaghettiOs because today's 5.30 and he knows Tuesdays I go swimming, so I often eat SpaghettiOs because I don't have time to eat uh, real meals. So 5.30, that's today. I guess I'll be eating that tonight. 6.6 6 and 6.13. And that's perfect because the pool actually closes for the summer I think on 613, uh, yeah, they have an outside pool that they open up for the kids, but the indoor pool is shut down, so I can't swim laps all summer long. But this year, we're gonna try to go up to the lake a couple times and swim at the lake. Also, he's in upstate New York, and uh, Tim Hortons, they're pretty big up there, so he asked me if I've ever had Tim Hortons coffee, which I have had it a few times. There's actually two Tim Hortons that are relatively close to me. There's one in Allentown, and I think there's one, now I can't remember, but I think it's like 10 or 12 miles away, but it's in a direction I never drive. So, luckily, I literally just ran out of coffee at work today. So I think this is, yep, it's already ground. I will be taking this to work, and I will be drinking this for probably the next, Two to three weeks at work? Smells good. <laughs> this is what we originally were talking about and he said he was gonna send me. But there's far more in here than I thought. I'll give you a hint of what's in this bag. Look over my shoulders. Ooh, individually wrapped, too. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Ooh, a matching set. I dig matching sets. Minnesota. Do I have Minnesota? I do actually have a Minnesota. I can't believe I have one. I totally forgot I had Minnesota. Now I got two Minnesotas. Would that be? No, nope, they're not. I can't believe I already have a Minnesota, but thank you. It's still going on the wall. Oh, Washington State. That's clutch. That is. This is one of the few states that I have not been to. I've been to most of the uh, American states, except for Alaska and Hawaii, um, but I have not been to Washington State. Also, I think this is the current New York's. No, the current one is more like the old, I don't know, it's like retro looking, but uh, I think this is the one right before the current one. But I don't have that. Ooh, that even feels different. I mean, it's got an, it's Nebraska. It's got an inspection sticker on it, but this is like, Good to know that makes that sound. Completely different material than uh, every other license that I've ever seen. Bam. Hawaii, the Aloha State. That's a clutch one. Another one of the states I've never been to. Oregon. If I have not said this, there are two cities in this country that I would love to live in. One's on the East Coast, one's on the West Coast. My favorite city, my absolute favorite city in this entire country 
happens to be in Oregon, and that's Portland. I love Portland. I haven't been there in a couple years. I really want to get back to Portland. This is way more plates than I anticipated. Another West Coast state, California. I have been to California a couple times, but I do not have a California plate. And lastly, we got one left. Oh, I think this rounds out the Empire State. So now I think I have, I'm sure there's older ones, but I think I have pretty much all the New York plates. I wonder, I want them all on display. Now I gotta hang these on the wall. While I hang these up on the wall, I want you to take a look at another Beer Sunday Fail video. This will be the third Beer Sunday Fail that you have seen. They're absolutely ridiculous and incredibly embarrassing. So please enjoy. Take three. Take three. Okay, Jeff, give the directions. Here. Yeah, I'm not humping you. All right. I wouldn't mind it. We've, we've already filled the bottle up with olive oil to our marker. Now we are heating the screw with proper eye protection on yes. to uh, red hot temperatures via a gas stove because, um, well, gas is the kind of stove that we have. So that's what we're doing. Um, using some vice grips with the rubber grip. That way we don't burn our hands. And beer. And beer. That is also a necessity. If you don't have your beer, this will not work. Um, you have to be consuming copious amounts of alcohol and playing with open flames in a tiny apartment. Otherwise, this will not work. Actually, it's a pretty big apartment. Huge okay, way. it's big. I'm rich. I have a huge apartment. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want to rub it in. But I, I'm, I'm kind of loaded. Can you, you can tell. I know. You want to be me. It's okay. I'm pretty. Yep. I love him. He does. <laughs> Look at those beautiful blues. And he loves me. <laughs> Hence the eye protection, protecting his beautiful blues. <laughs> Put it farther than the flame, douche. I can't see. I can see five <laughs> of everything. Uh, That's like, why I told you to wear goggles and not those glasses. Beer goggles plus ten. I think those are literal beer goggles. That might be what the myth is based upon. Pretty red. Yeah, but it can be redder. It can be white hot. I think you're right. That dude's a douche. I'm gonna have to edit my two your feet stink. <laughs> <laughs> I I freeze them right now, but it might be flammable. We might all blow up. For breathing. Can, can you film his alcohol. really stinky feet? Those things stink. I am so. Glad. I'm glad you can't smell on the internet right now. They smell good, like popcorn. I don't know. Do they smell? Like Lion's popcorn head. What's the lo what's the uh? Best head in town. Best head in town, buddy. That's why Jeff's on his knees right now. I am. <laughs> if this gets too pornographic, they're not gonna play it on YouTube. Am I even? <laughs> Protection. Glasses are Put gone. Screw will blow up in my eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> now I'm Chinese. <laughs> am I in the flame? No. Yes, I am. Now you are. Do you think it's long enough? His wiener, that is? You saw pics. I did. It was really tiny. Are we ready? I guess so. Let's do it. My eyeball hurts. All right, here. Just put it in. You think it's good? I don't know, dude. It's been it's in there been, for like five it's minutes. It's been three minutes. Just keep something. boiling the oil is all it's doing. <sighs> this isn't going to work. We suck at life. No, let's this all, dude is a liar. Let's all go jump off the balcony. It's just there's three screws in there. But this time you... Did it crack? At all? Okay, noise, not fun. Mm -hmm. Let's try a lion's head bottle when I'm done. Maybe it's thinner? That banana was really good. It didn't do it again. It didn't do anything. 
but I don't see it on crack. I hope you enjoyed that incredibly embarrassing video of me. Please remember, those were all filmed in mid to late 2009 with a 480p flip cam. I did actually just expand the size of it, otherwise it, it would have been pretty small and really hard to watch. So it's a little extra grainy because I just stretched out. But, does it look different behind me? I had to do a little bit of rearranging. Let me get out of the way here. If you notice, the New York plates are all different. They start over here now and go straight across. And uh, I moved the Florida up and the Virginia and Texas, but I have my Washington, Oregon, Hawaii, California. So I have my West Coast there going across the top. You know what? I think I'm going to flip California and Hawaii, and then it's kind of in order going down the coastline, and then you got your island. Okay, once again, Chris Wilson, thank you so much for my SpaghettiOs, my coffee, and my license plates. So very happy with the way this wall is looking. I'm actually almost out of room. I kind of have uh, one more space here that's uh, that's pretty much right above this bench. I could probably squeeze two rows in there, but uh, yeah, so maybe two, two rows left. But it's looking awesome. And I could not have gotten this wall filled up this fast without the help of Journey with Jay, who gave me pretty much all these awesome vintage Pennsylvania license plates. And without me ever knowing, PA had front and back plates, I guess in the 30s up into the 50s. And Chris Wilson, this is going to use tomorrow. License plates are in use right now. I hope you like this. This is where all of my future uh, zombies and coffees are going to take place in front of this wall here. I'm not far from where I used to be here. This is what where I used to film. Right, right there. And now I have everything on the bar. So I haven't moved far, but I like this. I like this background. <laughs> I love these license plates. I don't have my Gretsch guitar in the background, but funny side story. This Ibanez right here. This is an Ibanez RX20. This is my very first electric guitar. This is my very first guitar I've ever owned. I bought this at a pawn shop called the Steamtown Trading Post when it was on Lackawanna Avenue in downtown Scranton. I saved my lunch money for like six months and I bought this guitar. My mom would give me money to eat lunch every day and what I would do, if I had change, I'd buy like a soft pretzel because they were like 50 or 75 cents and a soda and that's what I lived off of for pretty much six months and I bought this guitar. I'm gonna go eat some SpaghettiOs, get changed and I'm gonna go swim three quarters of a mile to a mile in the pool. And I'll be back tomorrow at 8 a.m. for your next video. Good night.